Hey everyone, today we're diving into a hot topic, cash for keys. Agreements between tenants and landlords, is the practice a necessary tool or something that should be banned altogether? Let's break it down. Imagine this, you're a landlord who sold your property and the buyer needs to move in right away. You've got a tenant in place, but waiting months for a hearing at the landlord and tenant board could jeopardize the sale. This is where cash for keys agreements come in. Essentially, a landlord offers a tenant money to leave the property sooner than they might otherwise be required to. Sounds straightforward, right? But here's where things get tricky. Let's look at a real life example. Ricky, a Toronto landlord, was in a tough spot. He sold his condo and the new owner needed to move in ASAP. Ricky gave his tenant an N12 notice, which is a formal request for the tenant to vacate the property. But when the tenant got wind of the situation, they demanded $20,000 to leave the unit quickly. Faced with the choice between paying up or potentially blowing the sale, Ricky paid the cash and closed the deal. So what's the issue here? In Ontario, cash for keys agreements aren't illegal. There's no law preventing tenants from demanding large sums to vacate. This creates a situation where tenants could potentially leverage their position to extract significant payment from landlords. Here's the problem. The landlord and tenant board, which handles these disputes, is notoriously backlogged. Wait times for hearings can stretch up to a year. This delays the process and puts landlords in a tough spot where they might feel pressured to settle with a cash for keys deal just to get the property back in a timely manner. Should the Ontario government step in, some believe it's time to either make cash for keys agreements illegal or impose reasonable caps on the amounts tenants can receive in exchange for moving out. So what do you think? Should cash for keys agreements be banned or should there be a cap on the amount tenants are demanding?